Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion. We'll be looking at the ASUS EFI BIOS utility for the ASUS P8 P67 M Pro motherboard. At this time I have it set to easy mode. And as you can see, starting from the left, we have the time and the date. Going towards the right, we have our BIOS information, CPU type, memory information, build date, and the speed of the CPU. Below that shows some of our temperatures, voltages, and fan speed. Then we go to our system performance. You could actually set your system performance from the easy mode in the BIOS. You could set it to energy saving, normal mode, and of course ASUS optimized or performance mode. Below that is our boot priority. You could set your boot priority for whichever device you would like to boot off of. Up on the top right hand side we could go into advanced mode. Advanced mode will bring us to our main screen where it basically shows our BIOS information, system date and time, etc. Next tab is our AI tweaker. AI tweaker is where we can start manually tuning our motherboard. As you can see I have the target CPU turbo mode set to 4532. DRAM is set to 1648 megahertz and now we go to our AI overclocking tuner. AI overclocking tuner has three modes, manual, auto, and XMP. If you have XMP memory, you could set your XMP to that. Once you set the AI overclocking tuner to manual, you'll be able to adjust your base clock. I have that set to 103 at this time. Your auto save OC on your base clock this is in the Intel management engine. I have that set to auto. My turbo ratio is set by all cores. There are three adjustments for that also. Auto, by all cores, and per core. The per core you could only use if you are setting the BIOS, setting these timings in the BIOS. You cannot do it via your OS. I have the core set to 44 on the turbo core. The internal PLL over voltage is set to auto at this time. There are three different options, auto, enabled, and disabled. Memory frequency is set to 1648 and I have the power saving mode on disabled. You can enable that or set that to auto. You also have an OC tuner option. Once you click on that, it'll give you the option to auto-tune your CPU and it will, based on ASUS's settings, it will give you a slight performance tune on your processor and the motherboard. DRAM timing control, if we go into that we can set our latencies and our timings. CPU power management, as you can see I have the CPU ratio set to auto. I'm not I'm not uh, performance tuning the multiplier at this time. I am performance tuning the turbo, turbo cores. Intel enhanced speed step technology is set to enable. We could disable that and of course turbo mode is enabled. Then you have some turbo mode parameters. I usually keep them at auto. Scrolling down, this board you could set your your voltage offset, I have it set to positive at this time. And underneath that you have your CPU offset voltage. That is auto. You could adjust that from 0 0.005 to 0.635 volts. DRAM voltage is set to auto. VC, VCC IO voltage set to auto at this time. PCH voltage of course is auto and the load, load line calibration is set to auto. You also have a CPU sped, spread spectrum, spectrum and that could be set to auto disabled or enabled. Going to our advanced mode settings, CPU configuration. As you can see, you have your configuration set up, your CPU ratio, active processors, limit CPU ID maximum, disable bit, virtualization technology, speed step, turbo mode, 
C1E, C3, C6. PCH configuration, high precision timer is enabled. SATA configuration, you can set all your SATA ports. I have mine set to ACHI mode. USB configuration. Onboard devices. HD audio controller, front panel type. Your VIA controller, PCI Express slots, Marvel storage controller, etc. Sound and USB 3.0 controller. And this is your APM. Basically, it's your restores, power on by, etc. Scrolling over to our next tab, we have our monitor, and of course, that monitors our fan speeds, our temperatures, chassis fan speeds, CPU voltage, etc. As we scroll down, you can see the voltage is coming up. And I do have anti-surge support set to enabled. Next tab would be your boot tab. Basically, how do you want your computer to boot up? It gives you your options. And then finally, we have our tool tab. And this enables us to go into the Asus Easy Flash utility where you can flash your BIOS. It gives you the SPD information on your, on your memory. And also you could store overclocking profiles on this in the BIOS itself. Up on the top, click exit after you're done. Save changes and reset. Click yes. Your computer will reboot for you. And that has been a quick look on the Asus EFI BIOS utility for the P8, P67. M Pro motherboard. Thank you.